I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application question on finding quadratic equation using x-intercepts. The question is, a parabolic arc supports a bridge. The arc is 200 meter wide at its base and 4 meter tall in the middle. How high is a point on the arc that is 20 meter horizontally from one end? So let's first sketch the diagram will take the vertical axis at the center of the arc. So let us say that the arc is kind of like this. So in this case what we are given is that the maximum height is 4 meters and if 0 is here this is the arc is 200 meter wide. So these two points will be minus 100 and 100 units away in meters right. So this is this is the distance in meters and that is height with distance. Now the question is how high is a point on the arc that is 20 meter horizontally from one end. So we can consider from this end or from the other end but it's kind of symmetric. So let me just take from the positive end. So we need to find the height this particular height of the point which is 20 meters horizontally from one end, right? So if it is 20 meters from one end, then from zero, it is going to be 100 meters away. So that is kind of our understanding before we even start answering the question, right? Now, let us try to answer the question. A parabolic arc supports a bridge, so that's the arc. The arc is 200 meter wide at its base, four meter tall in the middle. How high is a point on the arc that is 20 meter horizontally from one end? So let's find the equation of this bridge. So the equation could be y equals to a times the two intercepts, which is x plus 100. This is because of this and times x minus 100, right? To find the value of a, we can write 0 and 4, the maximum. 0 for x and 4 for y. So we get 4 equals to a times, if I write 0 here, I get 100 times minus 100. So from here we can calculate a equals to 4 over minus 4 zeros. Okay, so we get the value of a which is a equals to 1 over negative 1 over we should write 25 so it is that goes 2500 right 2500 so that is the value of a for us since we know a we can now write down y as equals to a times which is we could actually simplify this and write x square minus um, 100,000 also but let it be like this we could have written this as well let's write this as 1 over so 2500 times x plus 100 times x minus 100 is indeed x square minus 100 square so four zeros right so that is the equation for us now once we know the equation it is kind of simpler for us since we need to find the height where y is the height for us let's say y is the height at 80 so at x equals to 80 we need to find the height Right, so this y height for us is equals to minus 1 over 2500 times 80 square minus 4 zeros. Okay, so let's use the calculator and find the answer. So we have 80 square minus 100, 100 which is minus 3600 right so that we are going to divide by 2500 that is minus 36 over 25 minus and minus will become plus because we are doing and let's take the decimal value so we can write this as equal to 36 over 25 or in decimals it is equals to 1.44 meters right so the height is going to be 1.44 meters when you're 20 meters away 
from any end, right? So and from any end. So from the symmetry, this will also be same. So the answer is height will be 1.44 meters twenty meters away from any end. Right? So that is how we can solve this question. I hope that helps. Thank you.